Hello everyone and welcome back to Mathematics class for class 5. Today we will start with a new chapter that is chapter number 14, cube, cylinder and cone. Okay children? So <clears throat> before we go into the topic, let's uh, do a quick recap. So far we have learned about, you know, different shapes. For example, a square, a rectangle, a circle, a triangle. Now, if you look at this square, it has only sides. It is a plane figure, okay, plane figure. And similar with rectangle, it has only length and breadth. Only, you can see only the top, right? So, these are only 2D. 2D means two dimension. Two dimension means we have only length and breadth, side and side, and all these things, okay, sides. Right, so these are all 2D uh, objects that we have, shapes that we have learned so far. Now, in this chapter, we're going to learn about solids, okay? Objects called solids. Now, what are solids? Solids are anything that occupies space. For example, if you look at this duster here, this duster is a solid because it has occupied its own space, right? It has, it is uh, occupying its own space, some space within, all right? And these are called solids. And, all right, and one more thing, it has a shape. It has a shape, something like a rectangle. From this side, it looks like a rectangle, and you can see that it has a shape, okay? So, <clears throat> These solids, what, what characteristics these solids have are, these solids have length, right, width, this side, and height, right? They have three different, uh, three different dimensions. So, these are called 3D shapes or 3D objects, okay, children? Now, this solids can be of different shapes. It is not necessary that it has to be only this rectangular shape uh, object, but it can be anything. And one more thing, these solids, they have the outer part. These coverings are called its surfaces. For example, this top part, it is the top surface. You can call it the side surface, surface. All of these are surfaces. All right, children? So this is about solids. Now, when we talk about solids, there are uh, <clears throat> different types of solids. We will be learning about uh, four of them today. So the first one is cuboid. Cuboid. All right, children? So this cuboid is something similar to a rectangle. Right, in rectangle, the characteristic of a rectangle is, the characteristic of a rectangle is that opposite sides are equal, isn't it? Opposite sides are equal. That means this and this are equal. This and this are equal. All right. So, this is something like a rectangle, but Uh, cuboids are drawn like this. They look something like this. Okay? Now, let me show you this particular figure here. The object that I have, a solid. This is a cuboid. Okay? A cuboid. Here, you see a rectangle. Right? From this side, you see a rectangle. Behind, since it is transparent, behind this, you can see another rectangle shape. Right, so these are called cuboids, okay? Cuboids have, they have different uh, characteristics. The first thing is, it has six uh, surfaces, okay? It has six surfaces, so, or we can call it as face. Let's look at, start from this blue part. One face, all right, two face, Three, four, five, and six. So we have six surfaces. 
and it has uh, 12 edges okay 12 edges meaning let's mark this as a b c d e f g and h edges means these edges all right all these edges all these are edges so we will ca count it from here one edge two edge three edge four edge on one surface we have four edge five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so we have twelve edges all right and we have another point they have vertices or vertex vertex means the point where the lines come and meet the point where all the lines come and meet okay so i'm marking them for you if you look at the figure all the black dots let's count them one two three four five six seven eight so it has eight vertices so the thing you have things you have to remember about cuboid is it has six surfaces 12 edges and eight vertices all right children the next solid shape is called cube it looks something like this all right every side looks like a square all right so the example of a cube can be this this is an example of a cube now this cube and cuboid are almost similar the only difference is cuboid is rectangular in shape and cube is square in shape so the number of surfaces it has six faces we'll just call it face six face same thing one face two face three four five and six same as cuboid 12 edges now let's count the edges here one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we have twelve edges, and vertices will also be same, because only the shape dif differs in them, cuboid and cube. So if we count all these vertices, vertices or the vertex is the point where two lines meet. Okay, a line is coming from here, a line is coming from here. This is called your vertex okay so let's count them one two three four five six seven eight so it has eight vertices vertice is plural vertex is singular okay this is singular for one one point we'll call vertex for this eight vertex we'll call it vertices okay so cuboid and cube are almost same the next figure is called a cylinder. Cylinder. Now this cylinder looks something like this. Just by looking at this, you can understand that it looks like a pipe, right? Something like this. Okay. It is hollow. Oh, sorry, it is circular. If you look from the top, from the sideways, it looks, uh, you know, long. It looks like a rectangle. It looks like a square. But it has a curved surface. Okay. And this cylinder has two faces. One face and two face. All right. These are called surfaces or you can call them as face also. So uh, a cylinder has two faces and it has a height. From this face to this face, this part portion is called the height all right and it has one curved surface area all right children so we can say that it has two faces all right it has two faces and this is and these faces are circular circular okay they are round like this they are round all right the faces are round the shape is round so we call it as two circular faces or two faces and the distance from this face to this face this distance is called your height 
okay h or we can call it as height so this shows you the height of the uh, the cylinder now the examples of cylinders can be cylinders can be you know uh, let's take the example of a pipe the pipe through which you you know water runs right the, that is also an example and sometimes you can also refer to do you have tube lights at home right tube lights so these tubes can also be called as uh, cylinders or there's also examples of log of wood burning wood right so these are also examples of cylinders and there are so many things pillars buildings you know the posts which circular pillars call them as cylinders so cylinders take different uh, you can find cylinders in different objects all right so we'll come to date to the, in the later part of the exercise let's look at the next shape so the next shape is a very common shape it is called cone cone okay cone it looks like this all right <clears throat> a cone it has a circular face and it looks something like this okay so this blue part this part is called your circular face it has one face all right and this face is also circular like the cylinder but here one face is circular one we cannot you know we cannot say anything about this it's pointed so this cone has a circular face one curved surface okay its surface is curved all right and if you look at this picture here the circular face all right and there's a midpoint here to draw a circle you make a point and then keep compass and you draw right so that point from that point to the tip of the cone this is called your height okay children so for examples of cone we can consider the first thing that comes to your mind when you look at this an ice cream cone right an ice cream cone now without the cream the cone it, the uh, the waffle that they give is uh, in the shape of a cone right so an ice cream can be an example of a cone and then there's a birthday party hat or you can call it as a a joker's hat right caps which we use and then there are funnels funnels are those objects we use to pour in water right or oil or anything any liquid all right so these are some examples of cone okay children so let's look at the question time this is a very easy chapter please turn to page number 107 the first question i will just read the question and we will write the answers only identify the 3d shape of each of the following objects so they have given us some objects we have to identify the shape so the first one is funnel 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 is in shape of cone right we have already discussed just now funnel is in the shape of cone then there is a pencil now pencils are usually like this right like this so this is in the shape of cylinder circular and very long right so these are some examples uh, so some answers and if you look at uh, tube light we have already discussed tube light is like a cylinder tube light is also a cylinder okay similarly for thread reel thread reel which we use for stitching it's also a cylinder and joker scape a cone the drums will be a cylinder and then suitcase we have a suitcase in this manner so suitcase usually look rectangular 
So we can say that suitcase is it is cuboid. Okay, any rectangular solid in this shape is called a cuboid. All right, children. Um, the other uh, the other questions given in the question time. If you go back to the first part of the lesson, you will find examples given here. So you will find the answers here also, and you can compare. All right, children. Now let's look at uh, question number two. Write the number of plane faces present in the so following solids. So the first one is a cylinder. A cylinder has how many faces? Two faces. One, two. So it has two faces. Cuboid. It's cuboid looks something like this. Right? Sorry. Cuboid looks something like this. And when we count its faces, it has six faces. Okay? And then we have cone. It looks like this. Only one face. So... The answer will be 1 and then finally for a cube, same thing as cuboid, 6 faces. Okay, children. Similarly, if you look at question number 3, write the number of curved surfaces present in the following solids. A. Cone. A cone looks like this. Only one curved surface. Okay. Only one. This only one curved surface area. So the answer will be one. What B cube? Cube has no curve. It has only edges. Okay, sharp sharp edges. So it is. It has no curve. So we will write it as zero curved surface. All right. And then for C cylinder. Cylinder looks like this. We can see one curved surface. All right. If you look at this, one curved surface. So we'll write as one. And D, cuboid. Cuboid also has no curved surface. All are edges. All right. So we'll write this as zero. Okay, children. So with this, we come to the end of this chapter. This is all about cube, cylinder, and cone. And we learned one more additional solid shape that is cuboid. All right. So <clears throat> uh, with this, we come to the end of the chapter. And I hope you will try question number four at home. It's just choose the correct word. Everything you'll find in the textbook itself. So please go through the textbook and try to answer the question. So uh, till then, uh, we will see each other again very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.